Super excited about this video today because we're gonna finally see the full X Factor in action with Polaris and Multiple Man. And I very much like this footage because <laughs> they're using Captain Marvel. And of course, these are uh, leveled out teams, kind of like balanced teams uh, with uh, all the abilities, the 7775s. Also, before we get into it, I wanna mention there's gonna be a rework to Iceman, which I'm pretty excited about. Iceman will be getting an increased focused stat by 30%, 33%, woo! And there's also gonna be some reworks to Shatterstar and Lockshot. And I gotta tell you, I think they're actually gonna break this team. Uh, bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Uh, his special uh, on Long on Shatterstar is going to be changed. It says attack all enemies to 20, 40% and apply defense down for two turns. And it was the primary target. Now it applies all targets. Oh my God. Can't be blocked. That means it's going to bypass deflect and it can crit. Because the problem with deflect is you can't crit through it. <laughs> Mind blown. Dude, this team is going to ramp up and blow things out of the water. His passive. Massive. Massive. Offense war damage boost. Oh my God. 35% damage. Non-summon x factors gain 35% damage on offense in war. Boy, get wrecked every all teams. Boy, between Shadowlands and this, oh my god. Long shot. His basic can't be dodged. His ultimate cannot be blocked. Again, I can't stress how important this is if it can't be blocked. Because the, when, the deflect mechanic is block, right? And the problem with uh, with block and this team is that when something's block, you can't block, you can't crit into a block. And and when they can crit, then they're starting to get, start getting all the turn meter, and it's crazy. And then also, this character has three or more summoned X Factor allies, lower armor by five percent for all allies, which is going to be very very helpful when we talk about uh, Polaris. And we're going to go over her kit. First, like I said, she pretty much is like Magneto, only instead of applying blind, she applies disrupted. 100 speed. So let's go over her kit, and uh, I'm going to throw it on the screen right here. Let's look at Polaric's kit, and I'm going to let this run in the background right here so you can see all the stats, and we're going to go over uh, Polaris right here. I I'm super excited about this entire team, and my goodness, it looks very good. We're going to start with her passive first. Um, is Mistress of Magnetism. On self or ally X-Factor crit, remove all deflects from the most injured non-summoned non enemy. Again, getting rid of deflects, getting rid of the blocks means that she they're going to crit more. And when they crit, that's when the passives on Longshot and Shatterstar trigger. Also for her, they trigger. When an enemy attacks this character or any ally with barrier... They're all going to have barrier. Apply bleed to that enemy. Oh, my God. On war offense, gain max health. War offensive team. So this is going to be a war offense team. Gain 15 max health. Non-summon X factor. Allies gain 15 max health. Gain 10% max barrier. Non-summon X factor. Gain 10% max barrier. Gain 70% focus. Non-summon X factor. Allies gain 70% focus. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Really good. And uh, like I said, 100 speed. But that doesn't matter because when they crit, they're getting bonus turn meter, which is going to be all the time. It's going to be very good. Her her ultimate, very Magneto feeling. Let's go to that. Her ultimate is seems very good. 7-7, seven, seven, pull all enemies into two spaces towards the primary target, then attack primary and, and targets within two spaces for 300% damage and apply disrupted. And so this is just like Magneto, only with disrupted. Then flip all regenerations to bleed. Oh my God, what is that going to destroy? It's going to destroy uh, oh, Sinister Six, uh, Doc Ock, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Black Order, Emirators. Oh my God, uh, there's so much good stuff that this can do. I, I, I'm really hyped about this team. This is going to be an offensive war team. Almost too good to be true if you ask me. Then her special electro electrostatic field Energy cost 4-4. Four, four. Bear yourself for 20% of this character's max health. Tag primary target and adjacent targets for 190% damage now. I got to remember, they're all going to be clumped together. 
after her 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 ultimate goes off. So that's going to be right there. Uh, if any target has bleed, <laughs> and they will take 250% piercing instead. This attack will always crit the primary target, and the attack cannot be blocked. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to throw up on the screen uh, multiple men, and because you're going to want to see his stats in here too. His stats are going to be towards the end. We're going to load that up right there. We did look at the kit for him the other day, but the stats were unknown, and here they are right here. 100 speed as well. Uh, very cool. We're also going to read the developer uh, notes on this because they do have some like uh, like de developer insights, which I think are fantastic. Uh, this attack will always crit when the primary target. This attack cannot be blocked. So the problem with uh, the, like the, with the Namor, it says always crit, but it could be blocked, and then it wouldn't crit because that was a thing on Namor, right? So this kind of takes care of that problem. Absolutely. I'm going to throw on the screen right here, right now. Uh, what it looks like when they're going up against uh, Emma Rodders again uh, with Captain Marvel, which doesn't help them at all. Anyways, very cool. Uh, then her basic Sanguine Iron attack primary target for 230% damage and adjacent targets for 200 damage. Again, they're all going to be pulled together, so that's great. Apply bleed to primary and adjacent targets. Bury the most injured non simmoned ally for 10% of this character's max health. Woo! Very cool, man. Uh, this team seems so good. Um, the, the only thing I can say so far by looking at the kits is they look uh, like... Um, that's slow. That's the wrong word. They need a crit to start going. Do you have some ISO 8 suggestions? We're going to read the developer notes questions uh, for Polaris first. It says, character defining attributes is high health, resistance, and damage. Uh, summary value proposition. Power for a controller that inhibits her, her enemy's ability to use regeneration. Provides barrier based on war offense. Very cool. Isolate consideration. Now, they suggest a fortifier uh, synergized with her passive because the extra barrier helps her apply bleed to attacking enemies. And I would have thought it would just be in Raider. Like, you just throw Raider on this entire team. Raider synergized with her special because the extra crit damage from Raider receives increased value from the increased chit chance from her special. And I was just thinking more of uh, uh, Shatterstar and Longshot's passive there. And then, who does this character work with? Who do you think? <laughs> what problem does this character solve for players and how? Polaris can use her ultimate to flip regeneration to bleed, providing a strong counter against teams that relay, uh, rely on regeneration for sustain. And so, um, um, those three teams I mentioned, um, Black Order, Emma Rodders, and uh, Doc Ock Sinister Six, absolutely uh, rely on regeneration. Now, I want to read also... The developer notes for Multiple Man, which Multiple Man uh, is, looks pretty cool. We looked at the kit the other day, but I just want to read uh, their notes because they have some ISO 8 suggestions. And it's actually, uh, you know, they talk about something other than uh, they other than um, Raider. I'm probably going to start this whole team off with all on Raider at first. It says, uh, develop characters, defining attributes, traits, high health and resistance, a unique protector who uses dupes to protect himself and his allies dupes heal multiple men when they die absolutely dupes can steal positive effects from enemies and spread them to multiple men and then isolate considerations again they throw on fortifier uh that's interesting uh because that gets the most out of the bear because of his high high base health but then raider synergized with his basic sense his damage scales with a number of active dupes and then raider also uh, just critting more often and having a higher chance to crit uh, uh, is something that appeals to me uh, with the passive on long shot it, for sure. Just that's just the same way they do. Uh, he works well with an X Factor team. And what problems does this character solve for players? Yeah, he's really cool. Tank is what he is. Ultimate protector uses his dupes to act as a bulk work instead of himself. This gives him an advantage against characters that are good at breaking down a single protector since he summons many lesser protectors instead. Um, boy. I know, uh, you know, we've been talking about this being Symbiotes 2.0, and yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, sometimes I'm skeptical of footage. It's, it's not exactly like um, doing balance, but it's probably similar enough, uh, the, the setup here. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you're going to put it in the ISOs, and you're going to get the full benefit of the ISOs, and, and that'll be interesting. 
But then again, I do want to give the the typical disclaimer that I that I always do in these Envoy videos is that this really is developer uh, footage and it's beta gameplay footage. So you know some of this could be subject to change. I I I just I personally just by reading the kits alone, uh, I think they're going to be quite amazing uh, just because of their kits for sure. And I'm pretty excited about Silver Surfer. Hopefully Silver Surfer comes out later today. Patch day today. We'll find out. I'll be on Twitch. In fact, uh, if you're watching this video right now, pop on Twitch. I'm probably live on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> going over everything, waiting for the patch to go live and going through all the bugs. And if Silver Surfer gets launched today, then we'll do a lot of testing. All right. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you hyped? Offensive War Team for sure. Uh... Is there going to be opportunity with Silver Surfer in Doom? Maybe. We'll see. Is this going to take over the arena? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I got to tell you, I, I'm pretty excited about this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And keep on gaming. Well, this is what happens when I'm out of my medicine. There's collateral damage. I got to go. I'm sorry that I stole your car.